Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is January 8th, 2023, and this is episode 559. Today we're looking at 8 Billion Genies, number 6 of 8 in this arc, coming out from Image Comics at a whopping $3.99. And on the cover here we see a very muscular genie. Uh, this is a recommend, by the way. Uh, just go out and get it. It has been a great story. It's a lot of fun. A lot of different things have been happening. Um, basically, everybody in the world gets a, a a wish from a genie. And as soon as they use that wish, that genie disappears and their wish comes true, for the most part. Some people have put some, um, some uh, wishes in place to protect them. And others have used wishes to destroy vast amounts of the earth. So let's get into it real quick as we continue this story. Uh, Charles Soule is the writer on this and Ryan Brown is the artist. Uh, the art design is by uh, Ryan Brown as well. Colors by Ryan Brown and Kevin Knipstein. The, uh, there's a cover B by Jim Rugg. And the letters are by Chris Crank. It's been the same group working on it. And it's got a certain look to it that has gone on through all the issues. You've got this crazy, um, just because it's, it's fantasy. It's got genies all over the place. So you're going to get all these different genies. The genies actually resemble the person that they're attached to. So it took me an issue or two to realize that, that uh, a lot goes on here. So we've got... A group that were hiding out in a bar that was protected by the owner. His wish was that nothing could happen to that bar. And outside they had something called the scorching where everything was pretty much destroyed. Someone had wished for the earth to be scorched. Um, so you have a lot of that going on. There's a lot of bad people. It doesn't take too many bad people to make things go wrong. And there's a lot of good people. Uh, probably more, way more good people. They've wished people back that were dead, and once they die themselves, their the person they wish back dies as well. It's called they're called remnants. So we've got all these different groups. It's been just a, a fun ride all the way through. We've got a group that's trying to become a, a rock band, and they've gone out on their own. They've left the safety of the bar. Um, we're we're looking at the first eight years now. We kind of went like first eight hours, first eight days, first eight weeks. Now, where the human population has dwindled from 8 billion down to 32 million, 183 and 100. The genie population is only 315,698. So, basically, one one hundredth of the humans left have genies. Um, so, you see that there's not a lot of safe places to go. Um, there's some factions that have sprouted up. One called Fun City, who's very particular about how they who they take in. And then there's another one by the Idea Man, who's trying to destroy all the other cities that have sprung up. And so people are kind of tolerant of him. His wish was, uh, I guess, unlimited wishes or something. And he was the only one that could have unlimited wishes. So he has all kinds of genies, and he's able to keep doing all these crazy things. Uh, some people are just kind of putting up with him because he does have all the power and he has provided a safe haven. Uh, there's also a boy that wished to become a superhero and his mother was a remnant. She was brought back by the father who wished her back. So they have this little family unit going on and they're living in the Idea Man city. And we get to check out the band, how they've kind of progressed, how they've gotten better over the years, just keeping playing and practicing wherever they were. They do get a, a audition to join Fun City. Fun City has to take only the best. It's kind of like a The Voice or American Idol or something. They have to go and audition. They say, oh, you guys were great, but you're just not the best. So they kind of trick them into um, taking them in anyway. Two of them had their wishes left, so one of them wished that the other wish that was left could be shared by all three, and that way they were accepted by the Fun City group. Here you can see the judges here, and there's their Fun City, Flying City. 
and you can see there they're rocking out in their audition so yeah it was it's very interesting the the writers thought up a lot of different schemes to get these guys through things um, obviously there's probably always going to be a plot hole here and there but not everybody can think of everything so this is a recommend just you just don't know where it's going next you can see that they wish comes true and now this genie looks like a little bit of all three of the a band members so yeah recommended and they are admitted to fun city so we'll see what happens with them with fun city and the idea man who's trying to take down fun city in the meantime we have curse words also from charles soule and i believe that is a trade paperback and I'm also reading another one by Charles Soule that just started. I have issue two. I haven't read it yet. It's called Hell to Pay. And that's supposed to end up being like over 40 issues. Um, it's going to look at the different people. Um, I think six different storylines. But it's all fun, falling under the Hell to Pay uh, title. So there you have it. This is a recommend. As always, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments if you wish, and I thank you very much for stopping by and watching this review of 8 Billion Genies, number 6 of 8. As always, this is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.